So come closer. So guess what? This is actually the start of the vlog, but it's really the end of the vlog, isn't it? Exactly. But I'm gonna show you, Eamon has came down, he's a YouTuber. I'm showing him how I edit a vlog. So we've created a simple story, which you're about to see, but we've actually just finished filming, haven't we? We have. So it's all over, the vlog's finished, but it's about to start for you, let's go. Hi guys, I'm just with Eamon. Hey. He's a big guy, he's probably about eight foot because I'm six foot, <laughs> six foot eight, so he's obviously a giant. <laughs> and today we're gonna be hanging out, we're gonna go to Geelong Harley and we're gonna create just a very simple vlog, probably about four or five minutes. And I'm just showing him how I YouTube. Um, a couple of things that people probably don't know that I do is I only ever use one camera. I only ever film in 1080. Generally the camera is set to 120 frames. Why would I set it to 120 frames, Eamon? Slow motion. Slow motion, correct, so I can slow mo things. I'm just gonna show Eamon just a couple of things that I do to create a, a, a small emotive, emotional vlog, a little bit filled with drama just by using music. Yeah, that, that's what the vlog's gonna be about today. So just, we're gonna ride our bikes to Harley, um, have a look around the shop and then come home and then I'll end the vlog and we'll see how creative I can make it. So we're gonna try yeah. and make um, something out of not much, but we'll see how it turns out. Fantastic. Okay, let's go. So what we've just filmed there is the opening sequence. So quite a bit of camera off and on, yeah? Yep, Amen. a lot of camera off and on, yeah. I've got to tilt the, the thing right up. Mate, can, <laughs> yeah, you squat, can you squat down? <laughs> He's on his knees. What I'm gonna do is, what you'll see, can someone shoot that fucking dog? I'm gonna, cr cr I'm gonna create that, that exiting scene in a very dramatic, over the top way, using music yep. and slow motion. The next scene will just be a bit of filming, a long way to Geelong Harley. Then we'll exit the bikes, we'll make it more cinematic, and then we'll enter, look around, have a bit of dialogue, then we'll leave, yep. and that'll be the end of the vlog. We're still set to linear, but when I was, you know how I held the camera there and I, told, I pointed where you to sit? Yep. I actually moved it to wide frame to get you in. Okay. So I was thinking about setting up the shot. So that'll yep. be quite okay. good and I'll slow motion that and you'll see. Everybody vlogs a different way. Eamon has his style, I have my style and that's what makes each motor vlogger unique, you know, yep. and that's what makes it interesting. I used to use a number of cameras and now I only use one camera. One is because the continuity of storyline is much easier when I take it off the, yep. off the, the card. The speed you, of editing. Yes, yeah, yep. speed of editing and I film at 1080, um, at 1080 uh, by 120. But what I do is I work my camera harder. So I'll, I'll turn it, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll get, I'll get a hand shot, I'll get a front shot, I'll get a me shot. People say to me all the time, why do you always film yourself, Danny? Because I want to film the expression on my face, you know, yeah. because, you know, a picture tells a thousand words yeah. as opposed to just shooting straight at the road all the time. Yeah. Makes it more dramatic. Correct, so I always count. Sometimes when I'm vlogging, I, I'll film for 50, like I'll count one, two, three, four, five off camera. So I'll just film for five seconds. Yep. So lots of little grabs. And then, you know, as you, you would see my vlogs, they're, they're always changing. I'm changing. All the time, Because yeah. you want to make it interesting, yeah. you know what yeah. I'm saying? So. So we're nearly at Geelong Harley, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna set up a shot where I go around the corner, you're gonna film me, yep. then we'll reverse, yep. and then I'll film you going around the corner yep. as we lead into Geelong Harley. Yep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just leave my bike there, I'm gonna walk around that corner, and you just drive normally, yep. as soon as you pass me, then turn around and meet you back here, yep. and then we'll swap positions, right. yeah? So this is what I'd normally do on a vlog, to get a, 
So lots of <laughs> mucking around. So here we go. Okay, get off your bike normally. Take your helmet off. Gloves, helmet. So nice and close. See how I'm getting really close? Yep. You're really close to your hand. Bit of a deliberate, bit of a deliberate sweep the, the hand through the hair like a like a model shot. Like you like that? I love it. Okay, when I slow motion that, you'll love it. He's laughing. Look, he's laughing. He's liking the he's liking these model shots. Let's go into Geelong Harley, we're here. G'day, how are you going guys? Number one salesperson in Australia for Harley, is that correct? Or the world? You're talking to Danny. <laughs> oh, you tell me, is it Australia or the world? No. You can always tell the difference between, you have to squat down, the difference between a pro YouTuber and an amateur is the pro will look down the lens like I am here and the amateur will look at the, the display screen. Are you listening to me? Oh, yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. You, you know, have you seen when they look here, but I'm they don't look I was here? I'm an amateur and looking uh, away. Oh, right, okay. He's trying to be a comedian. Yeah. <laughs> right. Thanks. So the reason I get so close, why do you think that is? To get the shot. To get yeah. the shot, yeah. yeah. And I also get, get good audio. So anyway, let's go get a coffee. So good. <laughs> you were, he was he was really into character, wasn't he? He really he's he's, he's smashing it. Uh, how embarrassing <laughs> is this? <laughs> my my style is about emotion, so you would gather that from the vlogs. I'll cry. Uh, yeah, I want to see tears. I want to see tears. Can, can you fake well, cry? I'll try. Hang on. Hang on. No. In a minute, we're going to exit. Eamon can finish his coffee, and then we'll exit, and then we'll head back to my house. Then we'll we'll we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll film along the way. Then we'll get off and end the vlog. 
yeah. and then we're going to edit this and see what we come up with. Okay. Yeah, so we're trying to make something out of not a whole lot. Yeah. Okay. I'm impressed. Okay. You're... I'm very impressed. Um, me and Eamon were just talking about, I'm sharing you with just my opinion, my thoughts on YouTubing, and we're just talking about how some, Uber, some YouTubers, they hire videographers, yep. and their stuff is so polished, um, I think, just in my view, that um, there's a rawness and authenticity that comes with, with myself videoing or yourself videoing that I think the punters like. So I think sometimes they're too polished and people lose interest. They like to see the... the they like to see it more real. Yeah, well, I think you get authenticity. Yeah. Um, and this is very authentic. <laughs> this is very authentic today. Well, and it's um, a lot of quick grabs. There is no rehearsal. It's all just as it is, straight away, first take, no problem at all, which um, I've learned a lot from because I'd take 30 takes for this. Yeah. We're trying not to be too professional. We're just trying mm. to keep it as real. When I'm on the road with Parry, everything is, there's nothing scripted, nothing. Um, we don't redo something. We just yeah. try and shoot, um, you know, and just, just, again, it's just my style. We just try and keep it real. That's all. <laughs> so we were just having conversation and I said, save it for camera. So ask the question again. You're very confident on camera. Yep. You appear to be much more confident behind the camera yep. than I am yep. because I'd take many, many takes trying to get it right. Yep. Why are you so confident? Is it experience or is it something that you've got? I think it's twofold. I think one is a lot of people are very conscious of how they're going to be portrayed. Yep. So you want to be, you won't let like, like I deliberately edit in some of my ugliness and some of my stupidity to give it again yep. because I want to try and connect with authenticity. A lot of people do stuff um, and they just want to show perfection, their best side, their best yeah. side yeah. instead of, I think I did a vlog with Parry and I cracked the shits and me and Parry had a fight and Parry went home early. I copped a lot of flack for that, but I left it in because I wanted to show that sometimes on the road, yeah. you crack the shits and you lose the plot. Yeah. So I left it in. So again, I just wanted to create authenticity, yep. but also aim and I agree. The more I've, I've done this a lot for six and a yep. half years, so I'm comfortable at looking down the lens and talking. So for me, the camera is actually like a friend. I'm yep. talking to all the time. So okay. um, I try and capture as much as I can. Yeah, so I've got a lot to learn. No, no, I just think it's, it's like anything. It's like if you're scared of swimming, if you keep getting in the swimming pool, Absolutely, yeah. eventually you're no longer, yeah, you you're fearing. Yeah, you yeah. yeah. Mate, we've got to go, hurry up. <laughs> Let's go. You it's still hot. All right, okay, we're going, we're going, we're leaving. Bin. Then I'll get your legs walking out, see that? See how I'm filming your legs? Yeah. So I just filmed his legs. We're gonna keep walking, get on your bike. Notice I'm swooping around the bike, look at this shot. Like, look at this, I'm just rolling around you. Can you put your helmet on? Yep. So I'm moving around, moving around, moving around, moving around. Then we're gonna come in closer, just ignore the camera. He even deliberately did a little head move then. Yeah, I think you deliberately. He, deli <laughs> he deliberately did that because he knew it was being filmed. Glass of shot, nice and close. The more close you film, the more cinematic you can look when you slow it down, so nice in close. To Putting on gloves. So watch, I'm going to film the, film the kick up of the stand. Go. Then I'm going to film him touching the ignition. One second, do that again. Here we go, one, one second. So I'm going to film Eamon leaving. Then I'm going to film the next shot will be me just filming over the handlebars. So it's sort of going to look like I've left with him, but I won't have. Let's go, you leave.
we've just pulled over. What we're going to do is we're going to do the thumbnail. We're going to create a good thumbnail. This is all about trying to create emotion. We're going to make, you know, as I've said, we're trying to make something out of nothing, aren't we? It's going to destroy my manly image. Okay. And it's got to be a... Um... Okay, that's it. That's the shot we're going to get. Yeah, look like you're a broken man. Very emotional, okay? <laughs> So I've just got home, this is the ending sequence. So, he's just pulled up. He's gonna ignore the camera, pull up, get off your bike, everything. And helmet off. Beautiful.